Welcome to War Jeepney Battle Report, and I'm here today with Carlo Piscano and yeah! his dreaded RSN fleet. I hate this. Guy. I hate this guy. <laughs> and I have here my Relthosa fleet, and we're going for this planet. We are playing System Wars. <laughs> for deployment, we have here my battleship along with my drone frigates maximizing the use of our stealth systems over here at the other side assassin cruisers led by my heavy cruisers and I'll have to destroy those forces over there we have there an RSN starter two units of frigates led Helion frigate, sorry. I'm sorry there, Mr. Carlo. And I have here this, uh, this spook cruisers, which I hate a lot. And we have here this battleship, which will die by the second turn. They will live. They will be destroyed. Gothosa will win. By the way, I want to thank uh, R1 for creating this special green nebula space table. By R1. It is not grass and mud. Green nebula. Green nebula. Thank you, R1, so much for this beautiful space day. Cruisers move forward. Cruisers, but point defense protects them. Damn it. Damn it. RSN cruisers advance. Lost one damage to one assassin cruiser. Spook torpedoes. I hate them. Peltoza battleship moves forward. Drops its complement of bombers for additional point defense. Fires torpedoes over to these dreaded spook cruisers. That guy over there again fails. Fail again. RSN battleship moves forward. Fires over to my assassin cruisers, but fails to do any damage because it is weak. Frigates move alongside their battleship in preparation to nail the RSN army for the flank. And the frigates also advance, maintaining their hard, tight dragon forge formation. Because they look like dragons. No, they don't. In a forge. <laughs> RSN spook cruisers. Firing their beams and torpedoes. Destroying this assassin cruiser over here. All going according to my plan. <laughs> assassin and huntsman fire. Does nothing. Missing. Missing. It is all in their ploy to fool the RSN that they are weak. Ha 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 ha. in fact they are weaker. <laughs> Frigates make their move. Fire their broadside guns, damaging two of this RSN frigates. And they will die next turn. Now on to Carlos move. And he's moving the other frigates. Let's see what happens. RSN frigates, second squad moves into position and fires on my frigates, and one gets damaged. Damn it! Happy. <laughs> now it's your turn, boy. Do your work. Battleship makes its move, fires onto this little guys, but misses. He also tries to target this. Cruisers misses. Misses again. Difficult targets for the win. What a cheaty move by the RSN force. <laughs> cheaty move by the RSN. Yeah. RSN battleship advances that guy over there. But does nothing. Does nothing? Well, well he did. For, except for one. Hit point. this guy here with his beam weapons. However, his kinetic beams and torpedoes fail to damage my cloaked assassins. Yeah. My frigates move past the planet, they overshoot the planet, fire their broadsides over to this guy. This guy over here is killed. This guy receives one damage and they miss the rest of their shots. What a nice move, but dice is dice. 
Too bad for me. Once again, the most hated RSN spook cruisers do damage. They fire the broadsides, killing kill. everyone. Yeah. Only two, only two <laughs> of my frigates, but they are successful in their uh, disarray check, their disorder check. They score a critical hit on this guy with their torpedoes, and they nail its point defense. So sad. Sad day for humanity. The brave Rilthaza cruisers move forward and put the damage on the battle of the RSN with, uh, with corrosive weapons, which is good. But however, they fail to kill any of the additional frigates. And I think they're going to die right now. They are uncloaked. They are out in the open. RSN battleship advances. Causes major damage to my Huntsman cruiser over here. Five damage. Huntsman is now down to one. Puts a damage on the frigate there. I only have two frigates left. The attempt of boarding assault against this cruiser here. However, their borders are repelled. Good job, guys. Good job. <laughs> Battleship moves forward with its complement of bombers. Bombers are unable to attack anything. Fires its uh, broadside weapons and destroys this innocent little ship there. Fires torpedoes, but nothing gets killed. RSN frigates fire to these guys over here. They fail to connect. They fire their broadsides to my frigates over there, but also miss. That's what happens when you're too much of a religious fanatic. The lone RSN frigates moves, fires the rear arc of this cruiser here, and this assassin cruiser is destroyed. Again, according to plan. According to my plan. We are at the end of the third turn, and here is the situation. He has earned two points for reducing my tier two frigates in half. I only have two frigates left. My battleship is still fresh. Bombers cannot make their attack run because he's got interceptors there in a defensive bubble around his fleet. Uh, I, however, earn a point for being near the planet, which is our scenario rule. So one point, and Carl over there, looking very happy, has earned two points. <laughs> I hate you! My friend Carlo, now my enemy, wins initiative and uses again his uh, spook cruisers. Gets everyone. Kills this one over here. Poor guy. And destroys one more frigate. All according to plan. All according to his plan, which is also my plan. <laughs> For my activation, my very brave frigate moves over Treacherous there to the rear. Shoots them. Shoots this guy at the back rear arc and destroys him. He'll receive a medal and he'll be promoted to Admiral. <laughs> Admiral, right away. RSN battleship tries to take on my battleship but fails to do any damage. It also tries to make a long range shot on my frigate over there but misses. It, however, uses its point defense and shoots down two of my bomber wings. His interceptors have laid back in a de defensive position over there. Now it's my turn, battleship. Let's do your thing. My battleship makes a slingshot around the planet. My bombers evade the interceptors and cause a critical hit. His battleship giving him a hazard marker and losing one crew. Battleship remains cloaked, fires its broadside to this frigate and destroys it. Battleship is still working. It's now the end of the fourth turn. He earns an additional point for being close to the planet. I earn one point also for being close to the planet. So one point. I have reduced him in half, so I earned two points. However, I lost two points because my cruisers, who used to be here, are now dead. May their souls rest in peace. Humanity is sad. Sad. Very sad. You're not humanity! We are... We're spiders! Spiders are humans too! <laughs> spiders are humans! 
My frigate moves here, fires off a shot, and what, did, what happened? Did I kill the guy? Mm. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing happens. Attempts to board the cruisers. Asa pa. <laughs> and of course, fails. The heavily damaged RSN battleship tries to take on my battleship from the rear. However, its reduced firepower cannot penetrate its damage rating. Good for me. But my Nexus battleship moves forward and tries to seek cover there, still retaining its cloak. Fires its broadsides to these guys from the rear, but Does fails nothing. to cross. Does nothing. Does nothing, sadly. Woo! However, my bombers take on the last frigate of this squad. A major achievement. Big deal, eh? Major achievement. RSN spook cruisers and its last frigate try to gang up on my little hero. However, they are unable to destroy the Admiral. He is the Admiral. And that is the end of our fifth turn. We now proceed to the last turn. I wish I had tactical cards so I can replace my bombers. However, Carlo intentionally did not play with tactical cards, disallowing me from doing that special ability. RSN cruisers try to flank my battleship and fail to score any damage and their broadsides also was not able to destroy the little hero frigate. However, I still need to damage those frigate. guys. Hero frigate for the win. Yes, I have moved my hero frigate. However, it fails to give me a score. Does not kill that little frigate. RSN battleship moves to the rear of my battleship but still maintains control of the planet. Fails to do damage though to my battleship. And last move I think will be mine. My battleship no, makes a last move. Okay, so that one will still move. However, it will die. This. It will die now. For my last move, I make a bombing run against that frigate and I kill it. And I earn a point. However, he earns four points for being near that planet. So that's the end of this game. We now proceed to our planetfall battle. And he has a lot of benefits now because of this game. So, see you at our next match. Certainly driven to inspire, have that non-stop desire. A rhyme say is in my blood, hate me, but it's all hood. A king advances nearly everywhere like a should.